Hey everyone, today we are gonna play Illidan. He's not one of my best heroes, he's at level 5, but I just did have a warm up game with him, and we did win. Um, wasn't because of me, it was definitely because I got carried, but uh, yeah, I like to I like to get better with him, so let's play a game and see how well we do. My hatred is unending. Alright, looks like we find ourselves on the Towers of Doom today. The friendly team is Kel'Thuzad, Garrosh, Illidan, Probius, and Sylvanas. The enemy team is Asmodan, Lunara, ETC, Leoric, and Malthael. So the Lunara and Malthael, that's... They are going to whittle us down a lot because they have just uh, constant dot damage. Or like their trait damage. And since we have no healer and low health pool, low health pool, that's really going to... It's gonna, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. It's gonna make it so that it's gonna be very difficult for us to, uh, to win here. Uh, long drawn out fights at the very least. If we get like quick, uh, if we can get like quick, uh, burst damage, we'll probably be able to do a lot better. So once again, that's the, that's the uh, burst damage on me, or the uh, dot damage. There we go. And I am definitely going to die here. Oh! Oh, the trait! Oh, the trait! Oh, gosh. I, so the reason why I went back into the lane is because um, uh, the Betrayer's Thirst heal for 30% of the damage dealt and um, reduces ability to kill for one second. So I had to do that to try to live or else the dot damage would have killed me. So I went back into the lane just to try to uh, base attack anyone and then I was able to, or someone was able to get the, um, the regen globe which actually uh, helped me out a lot. Alright. Okay. I'm just gonna play it safe here. Get full health before I go back in. This Kel'Thuzad is doing well. Doing work. All right, it does look like that we do have um, Sylvanas doing work down there at the bottom lane too. Let's go friend or foe here. Go forth and claim the altars in my name. The Raven Lord demands it. This realm and mine alone. This realm turns against you. All right. Let's just get out of here. I am Lord of this realm, and it will not be stolen from me. And let's just go all the way back here. Don't want another dunk. Here, perfect. So Probius is warning that the Savannah is in danger, and she is. And she is dead. All right, so I'm gonna come down here and start soaking up the lane. Someone should be going top lane as well. That would be Probius. Should be up there. But I think he's a little greedy. Alright. So let's see what we can do here. Alright, so we're at level 7 to level 5. The Sylvanas is almost back in, so I can back up, let her take that over. Um, yes. 
Double kill. Okay. So it does look like the um, Savannah's was ganked. Okay. Well, we don't both need to be down there, and the altars are coming up. Uh, it does look like Savannah's is going to be here for both, or uh, for the altar phase. And I think it's fine if we just trade one for one here. Gentlemen's agreement. There's no reason to... We already have an advantage. No reason to try to press for more. Activate them now. So. There we go. There we go. You will fall, Raven Lord. This is the way of the Nexus. You will regret approaching me. Hardly a challenge. All right. So while they're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and get the camp. Um because of my trait and uh, my E, I'm actually able to take camps really easy as Illidan. But you guys probably already know that. Let's see here. Um, with uh, with taking camps, you actually don't want to use your Q all that much. The reason why is because that does decrease your DPS for a moment. Um, obviously, I'm not the best person to give tips here because, as I said, I don't really know what I'm doing. I think uh, Hunt here is going to be uh, the one I choose. There we go. So the reason why I chose Hunt is because if um, the Asmodean starts lasering me or something like that, I can hunt him, which is a stun. Uh, that stops all that. Okay. And we will go up here. Let Probius do that. While Sylvanas is going to be taking down those towers, I'm going to take this and press the advantage a little bit more. Like we were good. Alright, so while we're doing that, looks like the probus is. Dang. Was gonna use my hunt, but looks like we don't need to do that. Take the altars and put an end to the gravekeeper. Yeah, he's right there. There we go. So you do have some fighting. All right. We're able to take that. Let's just go ahead and push this in. There we go. Now with that, I'm just going to go ahead and gank this Let's do that. Yeah, he should know he's dead by now. There we go. So, I do think that we're doing quite well here. Um, we do have an early advantage, but that's not saying that they won't be able to uh, 
take that back. My health is a little low. Feel the hatred of ten thousand years. Okay. Uh, I was able to get the one kill right before, or we were able to get the kill right before we uh, finished off there. And almost get the other one. So, since we took that, they're only going to be able to get three shots. And we got four. Perfect. And it looks like that Leoric is a pretty weak Leoric. Um, our Sylvanas is a little weak as well. But that's fine. Oh, almost. Okay. Let's see what we're planning on doing here. Alright. So, I think that went well. Uh, it looks like this Kel'Thuzad is doing the business. Doing what he needs to do. Alright, so let's go Mark for Death. Okay. We took that. Now it's going to put some pressure there. Uh, looks like the... There we go. Okay. So since I have a uh, hunt, I need to be looking at the minimap a lot. And then... Oh, why am I moving up there? Okay. Okay. That was rather there we go. Heroes, I have opened a tunnel near our core that leads to the battleground center. Use it well. What? I mean, I knew I could do that. I've opened my tunnel as well. Okay. Oh, that's my bad. Uh, why am I keep going in? Ugh. That's just mechanical errors right there. There we go. So, the Sylvanas and Probius needs to just leave. There we go, well done. And... Oh, there... Yes, well done. Well done. Oh, it looks like we're still fighting over this one. Yep. Alright. We got 7 to 26. Now it's gonna be 2. Uh, let's go 30 seconds. Probably won't be able to take that. Oh, what a burst. So, the reason why I'm going after this is because this is lethal. So, this camp is lethal, this camp is lethal, and the boss will be lethal. So, um, I also have Hunt ready. So, if we go after the boss, which is what we should be doing. Um and we take this camp, then we'll have uh, 
two things for the enemy team to respond to, and they won't be able to. Feel the hatred of ten thousand years. Okay. So, I think uh, with Illidan, it's one of those um, situations where you just gotta always go in. If you don't go in, then you uh, will lose, right? And that's one, two, there we go. GG. Oh, that was good. That was well done. It wasn't the best executed Illidan game, but it is one that you can definitely see where his power was. Uh, this Kel'Thuzad did definitely did a lot. He 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 knows this character well. He's been playing him, and he's been able to burst people down really well. I think I did fine. Um, obviously took seven mercenary camps. Uh, I'll give it to him. I did seven mercenary camps. We'll look at my stats and um, the talent choices I went with. I didn't really do much research before I played uh, this game. Like, I didn't go on Hot Slog and see what's the most popular or anything. I just kind of went with what I used to know, which was... Like I said, he's level 5, so I played him for a little bit. Uh, stats. So, I had uh, 10 kills, 17 assists, and 2 deaths. I did 31,000 in siege damage, 31,000 in hero damage, and I did 9,000 XP contribution. So obviously, I since I was taking mercenary camps for so long, I was able to uh, contribute to um, the XP. Uh, it did get us a couple shots and uh, a couple lethal options. Um, I obviously came in for a couple kills when they were low with my hunt. Uh, let's see here. Obviously, the big one here would be the Kel'Thuzad. Here, damage is 76. Malthiel, uh, he was top on his team for 26. This Lunara, like, also looks like Malthiel and Leoric were getting punished for your, were getting punished for your hard. The Amazon wasn't able to split. The Sylvanas was left alone way too long and get got us a good XP lead, which we then just used to snowball. She was caught out a couple times, but it was good. Yeah, I think it was uh, overall a good game. Obviously, 41 kills to 14. We definitely punished them as much as we could. Uh, the talents I went with today was uh, Immolation. Um, I didn't think there would be much team fighting. Um, so, with the Az Azunan is going to be splitting, uh, Leoric or Malthael could be in the other solo lane. I didn't think, and honestly, my position is not great for the uh, Battered Assault, which would let me to, if I hit two or more heroes, I get bonus damage. My positioning is not that great that I'd be able to. I'm not confident myself to be able to hit that. Uh, friend or foe, so I can try to escape. I tried to that one time, but I I think I press a a move and or attack move and it made me go back in. Uh, let's see, it goes the hunt for you know, our hunt hunters onslaught. The basic uh, abilities heals twenty cents cent of damage they uh, deal. This bonus is double versus heroes. So it allows me to get a little more sustain, especially with the double dot damage, as I said. Uh, the hunt, charge units to deal of 251 and uh, impact and stun them for one second. Elusive strike, sweeping strike reduces the cooldown of evasion by three uh, seconds every time uh, it damages on enemy heroes. So just try to get my uh, evasion out a little bit more for the Lunara. Um, I guess it's evasion, it's only for basic attacks, I think, right? Um, so Mark for Death deals an extra 180 damage if used consecutively on a target within 10 seconds. Uh, nowhere to hide. Uh, the hunt gains unlimited range and Illidan pass reveals enemies below 25% health anywhere on the battlefield. So that just allows me to go in for the ganks a little bit more. So Mark for Death is if I use my, um, my Q several times on, a, on an enemy, I'll be able to do extra damage. So that's like uh, on the Asmodan there, um, I'd be hitting him uh, several times to try to gank him. Uh, before I leave today, I just want to see uh, his abilities, evasion, basic attacks, yeah. So basic attacks, evade basic attacks. 
But yeah, so that's an Elden. Um, obviously not the best one, but let me know what you guys think and how I can improve, and uh, have a great day.